but no, I'm not buying plants. I'm not buying plants. Hi everyone, it's Marion. So today I am running errands and it's actually my first time out since I got back from vacation which is like about two weeks ago and i did that for two reasons first obviously to quarantine since i just got back from travel and second to prevent myself from spending money because i did spend a lot of money during my vacation but now it's my first time out i'm going to the bank to make a deposit buy my dog food and also buy something at lowe's because i need to propagate something so i'm gonna go get perlite, vermiculite, or coco coir, whatever is available at Lowe's. So I'm also going to go to the Dollar Tree, which is right next to the bank, to see what spring gardening items they have. And of course, also check out plants at Lowe's. And if you have time, go to Marshalls and Ross, which is right next to Aldi, and see what also spring gardening stuff they have. So yeah, I'm excited. Like I said, this is my first time out after being back and I'm excited to check out what they have at the Dollar Tree because if you don't know yet, Dollar Tree has increased their prices. They are now like $1.25 but the last time I was there was December before Christmas when I'm buying decors for my bedroom and everything was still a dollar then. It wasn't $1.25 so but this is my first time back since and in the new year so we'll see if they have increased prices and what kind of spring garden stuff they have last year they had really good ones so we'll see if they brought back those stuff and if they have any new ones so let's go this dollar tree don't have a lot of stuff out yet or maybe they do this is just like their regular volume but here's what they have so far let me show you so here they have the watering cans they have the stackable of planters that you can do like that and plant multiple stuff. Great for outdoor gardening. They also have the square ones and this one and there's plastic planters. They're actually quite sturdy but it doesn't have a drainage hole. And here's another one. None of their pots actually have drainage holes which is such a shame. This one is a little bit flimsier but it does have drainage hole and a saucer which makes it like a self-watering planter and this one too i guess it will make good cash bow but not as planters yep it now says a dollar 25 which is nuts and the cloach domes and then the figurines they have this cute planters, this one's Dexter, this one, I think this is a new design. They got some botanical stuff. Actually, this is good for propagating as well. I've tried it before and actually works. And they have the terracotta pots. I like getting them from here. And then the starter pots, this is like the four inch and the smaller one. So if you are seeding something, this is good. This one is a cotton rope, which is actually nice if you're doing macrame and stuff. And if you don't like this one, the twine version. This is something new. They got plant clips. And it comes in like a small size and a large size. That's interesting. And they got this flower power hugger. Flower pot hugger. They got grow kits. I've never tried this before because I don't think they work. But let me know if you want me to try it and experiment for you all. And I'll get like a couple of them and see if they actually grow. Some gloves. I bought gloves here before but they don't last long. So I'd rather buy a pricier one that would last long instead of this. But And they have different shaped trellises. The shamrock, the square, and a smaller wreath. This one also would make a good trellis for your houseplants. <laughs> I think I have this at home, so I don't think I'm going to purchase it. I'm going to go check. And they got the reeds, like this one has the bicycle wheel shape. Oops. And this one is heart shape for Valentine's Day. Maybe I'll get one and do a Valentine's Day project with this. We'll see. Spanish moss, good for decorating. Some travels. These are good buys. Like I bought a couple of these maybe last year or two years ago, and I still have them. Not exactly gardening stuff, but this gold ones, you can DIY them into like hanging planters and they look really good. Like see how they look? And just put like 
maybe the cotton rope that I showed you earlier or something else and you can make it into a hanging planter yeah if you want me to do some dollar store DIY gardening items or for just like plants in general let me know and I'll do it they do have this metal hanging planters if you don't want to DIY anything again not necessarily gardening stuff but if this is a dollar 25 this is actually good for organization for your gardening stuff or just stuff in general because my theme this year is organization more than decluttering uh, I need like organization boxes like this so maybe I should get them I said I'm not gonna spend money but we'll see the dollar store is also like up their crafting supplies which is awesome they have different vinyls some of them are good some are not I found like the glitter ones are not good but the regular ones are great they work as well as the Cricut ones and some of the crafting stuff like this wood dowels you could use for plants the pop-up dot tape and all of that these are actually nice ribbons but I don't have any use for them and they bought back the terrarium planter and some storage containers for your seeds it's a crafting one but you can use it for your seeds and whatnot they also have this watering globes which will come in handy for those who need to water their plants while they're away but this is good and it's a dollar 25 i don't know if it's like a dollar 25 worthy though you gotta think about it now the 25 cents make all the difference they have the plant labels again which i thought was a great thing to have but i never really used the ones that i bought last year so i don't know and they have seeds. I was not gonna see anything this year, but with the grocery shortage, I'm kind of like, maybe I should. And this dollar store seeds are actually pretty good. They germinate pretty well for me. And they have potting soil too. But most of the stuff they have is for Valentine's Day. <sighs> yep, a lot of Valentine's Day stuff already out i mean valentine's day in two weeks makes sense but yeah i don't decorate for valentine's day though so and they have fake greeneries ivy i don't know what this one's supposed to be there's some more of their greenery they actually have quite a selection look at this one this one looks actually pretty good Okay, so I did end up buying something at Dollar Store even though I said I didn't. I got this and I got four of them which came to $5.30 because everything now is $1.25. So now I'm at Lowe's. I'm only going to buy one thing and one thing only. I'm not going to buy any plants but I want to check out the plants that they currently have. So let's go ahead and go to Lowe's. I'm fully stocked and fully stocked with great plants. Like the first thing I saw is this alocasia really tempted to get this one and they got the things in Gulium, Marble Queen, some ZZ, Silvery Ant and I think I mentioned it in my last Lowe's shop um, plant shopping video is I do like the Urban Jungle collection a lot better than the Live Trends yeah, collection. The same thing but they have the Thomatophyllum, the baby th Thomatophyllum over here, some ponytail and this samurai sunset area and look at this marble queen pothos it looks so good and this alocasia different one from the one that we saw but also velvety leaves and more silvery ants and dapses really like the spot it is 28 dollars though so i don't know if this is a 28 dollar pot but if once it goes in clearance i'm grabbing it they are fully stocked today again so this one is the rainbow path i'll probably if i'm getting it i'll get this over the watermelon peperomia if you want an easier care plant and, ooh, i like this one this is the peace lily and it comes in a self-watering planter for 15 dollars. so this one is a good price i kind of stayed away from peace lilies because these are not pet friendly plants but knowing that my dog don't really care about my plants he doesn't touch it doesn't play with it doesn't try to eat it maybe i'll venture more 
into like the piece literally but i want the variegated version though and look at this one nicely variegated and some ficus plants Easy right and more begonias and this raffi smaller ficus i think this one's a baby fiddle this one's a day from bakya it looks so good we have some more of that different bakya on this side along with that elephant ear and some snake plants ponytail palms and more of that tomato phylum baby ones from the urban jungle collection and here they have the Anisani ferns, the Corathia, and then this. And they also have more of the peace lilies. And let's go check out what they have over there. So here they have the butterfly syngoniums. I don't know what this one is. It's a snake plant. And their usual air plants and succulents cactus money tree they have the monstera adansoni looks pretty good and it's the only one and the rest are syngoniums yeah so nothing really special with the hanging plants usually the hanging plants is where i find really good ones and this is just like the usual stock they have rex begonias waffle plants ivies ferns crotons maiden hair fern Ugh, i don't know if i'm gonna take another step on the maiden hair fern this year probably not but <laughs> putting it back there got some variegated ivy nerve plants ferns but all the usual plants some large thematophyllums let me see how much they are twenty dollars not bad they got their seeds out and then their herb kits and they got the monsteras and always like on the hunt to see if i can find a sport graded one but so far none yet yeah okay, let's check out the clearance section because they have pretty good plants in here that are in the clearance so like this one is $15 now or $14 not bad and it's salvageable the begonias this one looks pretty good uh, I don't know why it made it into the clearance and also like this one this one I'll just get it just for the pot I don't know how much they're selling it for though like the piece really this one just needs watering the syngonium it's $17.98 originally I don't know how much it is now if it's 50% off the like syngonium is likely 50% off and this golden pothos all of this just needs watering to be honest this piece really looks really good and I liked how it's arranged but even for 50% off $9 I don't know if it's worth $9 and this one the lucky bamboo the variegated version probably $10 if it's 50% off and we have some more over here that are 50% off the lucky bamboos like this are also in clearance I'm not sure but they're all in the clearance section like honestly all they need is watering oh like this dragon fruit how much are they selling this because I would take it but no I'm not buying plants I'm not buying plants the pilea but this pot though again we'll get it just for the pot but I don't know how much is it off it's $28 so even with 50% off uh, I don't think it's worth almost $15 when you feel bad for plants and clearance though sometimes you just want to buy them because you know if you don't they're just gonna get thrown away and die 
and that hurts you more than anything. <laughs> if I'm buying plants right now, I totally get this. Like $15 on clearance? Definitely. Like, and you know it's gonna grow back. <sighs> the struggle. Then they have the plants over here, and honestly, I think they're just trying to sell you the pot. Because the plants don't look that good. Gotta grab what I came for, which is, I guess, perlite. So it's the only one they have. I could get the orchid mix, I guess, but let me just get this one just to be sure. So yeah, they are stuck with plants, but they don't have like the new live plants collection, but they have a great selection in the urban jungle ones. So really good plants. And honestly, I would grab them if I'm into plant shopping right now, but I'm not. And the clearance section too, I was surprised. They had some really good plants there that really all just need watering and they are fine but they put them on clearance and i was really tempted to buy a couple of them but i held back so all i got was a bag of perlite and i don't know if i'm gonna still stop by marshall's and ross the ross is right next to the aldi so i might still stop by at ross at the very least so i'll see you there by ross and then aldi Not much here either. I mean, this is the only one that I saw that's really good. It's for $10 and it's a really nice planter. Okay, as you can see, I am back. So there was really nothing at Ross when it comes to gardening stuff. So like the little clip that you saw was pretty much it. And I just went to Aldi to buy my dog food and do a little bit of groceries. But yeah, but that was my errands day and going to the dollar store for checking out their spring gardening items and checking out the plants at Lowe's. Hope you enjoyed that errands vlog and that kind of shopping vlog. And thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please do subscribe. I come up with videos every week. And if you haven't yet, check out these videos up here until my next one. But until then, I see you. I appreciate you. Take care of yourself and each other and have a mindful day. Bye.